Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Wang with Key Performance Ideas and today I'll be demonstrating how to set up valid intersections. So what is valid intersections? Um, it's a feature that it helps restrict users from entering data at a certain intersection point. So it could help uh, with their data integrity in planning. Um, it's really commonly used when you have a product where it's only valid for certain departments. So this feature is actually a cross-dimensional security that you could apply to multiple dimensions. So let's get started with the how to set up valid intersection. So first, you will first log into the Simplify interface. And one thing to keep in mind is that valid intersection could only be set up in the Simplify interface. So you have to use this interface to set up your valid intersection. So once you're log once you're in the Simplify interface, first you would go into uh, Application, Setup, and then here it's where you would set up your valid intersections. Um, as you can see, I have a couple examples here. Um, so right now, we could to create a new valid intersection, we would just click on Create. And then here, you could just type in your valid intersection name. So we could just put Sample. And then once we have that, you would select your anchor dimension, uh, which is kind of like driving your whole valid intersection rules. And typically, um, for here, I will be selecting entity as my anchor dimension. And once you have this, uh, you could start adding your dimensions if you have, um, and then you could also add new rules. So in this example, I'll be adding a department as my additional dimension, and then I'll start adding my rules to actually define my valid intersection. So here, for my entity, I'll be selecting um, just whichever entity you want it. Um, so for my example, I'll be selecting Brazil as my entity that I'll be, um, sorry, let me just select that one more time, um, Brazil. So you just need to click on the check mark and it will select that for you and then click OK. And then for your department, um, I'll be selecting going to um, to the sales and marketing department where I'll be focusing on just um, this entity will be only valid for advertising, for example. So that's why I'll be only selecting advertising advertising as my um, as my department for this Brazil entity. So once you have it set up, once you define all your rules, you can add multiple rules. You could uh, add additional dimension if you need it. And one thing, there is a couple option settings that uh, just to keep in mind is that you could also have the option to un unselected members are valid. So once you have this, typically as a default, it's already turned on, but you could also turn it off if you wanted to, um, depending on how you got how you are defining your valid intersections. And then also, um, you could also define, um, for example, in this, you, we could actually select, let me just show you, we could select, like for example, if we want to do I descendant or level I descendant of, um, of the, whole, the whole department or descendant, you could actually do that. And you could actually, once you have this, and then for example, you want to remove some of the ed some of the department in the the Senate of total department, you could actually add an add exclus exclusion. Once you have that, you would just select which one you want to exclude out from your list of I descendant. So for example, if I want to select, um, let me show you if we want to select advertising or end market research out of this whole I descendant, we could certainly do that. So this is a, another option you could play around with with your valid intersections. And so once you have all these set up, you could um, just save your rules here, save and close. And then um, let me just delete this. Yep. It's already, oh, it's already existed. So let me just save this rule. And then once you save it, make sure you enable it. Make sure you have, it has the green check mark. And then it will start um, restricting those intersections that you just defined. 
So for my demonstration purposes, I already set up a demo where here I set up a couple of valid intersection rules that I have for my uh, example, and I built and I pre-built a form that will be showcasing how it works. So let's first I'll turn it off to show you that um, everything is valid in the beginning. So if I go were to go to my forms um, and here, if I sh open my valid intersection example, as you can see here, all of these are valid um, intersections that it could be, um, you could be, you could input at those, each individual intersection level. But once, if I turn it on, if I go back to my valid intersection setup page and enable that feature, you, you will see that there are certain intersections that will be disabled once I have my valid intersection on. So once I turn this on, and then go go back to my form. You can see that there are certain um, intersections that are actually gray out because of my rule that I just define in my valid intersection. So as you can see here in Paraguay, um, I only want management and advertising department to be valid, and all the rest are invalid. So that's why, as you can see here, these are gray out, and then they apply for La Venezuela and Argentina. Um, same concept, I just define my rule and then once you have everything, you can see that users are able to input here, but they could input at other intersection. So that pretty much wraps up my whole demonstration on valid intersection. I hope you guys enjoyed my demonstration and thank you. Have a nice day.